By 2014, only 14% of Uganda's population had access to electricity for lighting. A majority, 62% of our population who are mostly rural households, use kerosene lamps as well as candles and fuel wood for lighting. This is not only inefficient, hazardous and expensive, but also contributes to pollution and has serious implications on people's health and the environment. In response to this challenge, in 2015, Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF in Uganda, commenced the implementation of the Scaling Up Rural Electrification Using Innovative Solar Photovoltaic Distribution Models project with funding from the European Union, EU, and co-financing from SIDA, NORAD, DANIDA, ProTechno, and Government of Uganda. The project covered 20 rural districts of the Albertine Graben that had a common challenge of poor access to energy. The key objective was to ensure that rural communities are able to operate and maintain solar PV technology, use it for domestic purposes. The key problems we wanted to solve is first of all to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions that are normally caused about by the use of non-renewable energy technologies and also improve service delivery in, in social institutions, whether are the schools and health centers. To achieve this, the project implemented three solar components of solar home systems, institutional solar systems, and the mini-grids component for community-scale electricity supply. The project partnered with the government, health centers, schools, community-based organizations, CBOs, and the private sector. The project registered a number of achievements. During the implementation, more than 4,000 solar home systems were distributed by the project in partnership with about 62 community-based organizations in the 20 districts of the Albertine region. These were acquired through the installment payment model. The intervention also saw over 50,000 solar systems distributed by other solar system suppliers. This increased the solar PV adoption levels to 56 percent in the project's initial three districts of Kasese, Arua and Masindi. Mm. Mm. I started realizing changes in profit. Then the first thing that came into my mind was why can't I expand this business? I then started a, a small soap. Now, the money we got from this business mainly is helping us pay school fees. Ona benta ka funi resora ba kastoma kanyi ne bache. Kuna funi resora ba kastoma wa yonjer. Business ya jendo miso na funa sente na argomu mpanjisa na yombeke yanje. The project installed and maintained solar PV systems of 1,000 watts capacity, each in 31 schools and 33 health centers in the districts of Arua, Kasese, Maracha, Masindi, and Rubirizi. This boosted the service delivery in these public health centers and schools. We've seen improved academic performance in schools where we installed the solar systems. The students have been able to complete their syllabuses in time because they were able to uh, add more learning hours in the morning and in the evening because of the light that they were receiving from these solar uh, systems that were installed in their schools. Uh, we've had more student enrollment and also improved teacher attendance uh, because the, the teachers are now able to reside in the staff quarters because of the light that is provided by the solar. Really, we look at the installation of the solar system at Mathe Primary School as a turning point, our milestone within the education system, transformation structure of Mwete Primary School. Uh, initially, before we had this solar system, our performance indicators in the PLU exams was all a bit more than average, actually, it was just on average level. When you look at the other uh, years up, 
Wahari the three has. And the great day, you and so on. But then we descended down, 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 down. So when we descended up to this current year, that's the 2018 year, having had our solar system installed, then we began eliminating all of the other fours and the threes. So to this year, last previous year, we wanted to eliminate and completely eliminate the grade three. We ended up in division two. Fifth end candidates getting eight in division one, fifth in division two. Previous year, third in division one, 46 in division two. It also helped the school to manage their data, uh, office data management. We were able to buy a computer set. We have already bought a scanner, a printer, and a photocopier. And all of that is possible because of the power system. Surely we have just achieved it from World Wide Fund at the European Union. I'm proud to say that uh, due to this service, my at the primary school, even if you could check from the DO's office, uh, we are one of the most ranking schools in the district. This system was installed 2018 August, and since then we have had a number of achievements. We used to use candles, these hurricane lamps, and uh, most of the mothers in the hills never came here at night because they knew we didn't have any source of light. And you, you realize and you, that uh, most of the mothers deliver at night. But now that they know we have light 24 hours, we are doing very well and we have increased our deliveries from about 27 per month to 42. This one is the, one of the biggest refrigerators in the district and it was given to us because now they realize we have, good, we have enough power. But we used to have a, a small one that was used for vaccines and those vaccines would take us like two weeks and they are over. But this one can give us, can now store vaccines that would take like three months. Since it is always on, we have immunized up to the expected 95% of the total population. Uh, unlike when we were at around 45. In partnership with the Rural Electrification Agency, RARE, WWF constructed six solar power mini grids with a total capacity of 170.625 kilowatts in the villages of Kasese and Rubirizi districts. On December 8, 2021, WWF commissioned and handed over these mini grids to government of Uganda. These have a potential to benefit an estimated 1,800 households and 200 businesses. The mini grid electricity is also powering other commercial enterprises. This has created new opportunities for livelihood improvement through productive use of electricity and has created at least 400 new jobs. This contributes to sustainable and inclusive economic growth in these rural communities. It allows also the creation of new businesses opportunity and the creation of much needed jobs. Uh, yesterday I was visiting the Kisenji mini grid and I could uh, experience firsthand how the mini grid is transforming life of people there and created new uh, opportunities. Umwanya ogu kabagulu mwanya mulungi. Chwa kutase mire kati kubwa mama sanya razi. Kwa kutikanti na mochi enyameswa zidi ya mbuzi zikuata ente. Chwa kubi ya zidi na masa nzi gata hamu. Zata nka kuira nkai umpaka. It's our owner from WWF on behalf of the European Union. Uh, CIDA and other co-financers to this project to transfer the full ownership of the assets. Six solar mini grids with their components described in Hanover report. Thank you very much. I have the honor with gratitude on behalf of Ugandan government to receive these certificates of six mini grids we are very very grateful the gap that exists in the supply of electricity can significantly be improved or filled by use of this kind of system the mini grids and the solar we need more of these mini grids so this is just a pilot project to demonstrate that it can be replicated across the country and change 
the level of access to electricity in this country.